Hey, in this video, I'm going to be batch converting some images using a very good free tool called XNViewMP. You can get that from this address here, xnview.com. I'll be putting the link in the video description. And on this page, if you download, you can see for Windows, there is a setup there for 64 bit, which is probably what you would want. OSX there and Linux files there. And you'll also probably find this in the store in most Linux distributions. I'm using MX Linux for this video, but the software is the same in Windows and other operating systems. So assuming you've downloaded that and you've installed it, there's a little dialog box when you first launch it, just okay that or set it however you want. And from once you've opened it, if you click view, go to layout and say layout two, and then I just close these two uh, little windows there and then you should see a similar layout to what I'm looking at here. So I'm in the downloads folder here. I've got a bunch of images. These are all from unsplash.com. These are all free images, a very good website. And I'm going to batch convert these. I'm going to use some of these for a wallpaper. And this is quite a low resolution computer. And these files are pretty high resolution. As you can see, 6359 by 4239. And my uh, resolution of this computer is 1280 by 720. So I'm going to ignore the landscape files. I'm only interested in, the, uh, sorry, I'm going to ignore the vertical portrait files. I'm more interested in the landscape. So I'm going to change the view here and sort by and change that to orientation. So now all the portrait files are at the top here and all the landscape are down the bottom here. So this is obviously a thumbnail of the image. And on the right here, we can see the preview of the image if i want to select uh, these four files i could click on the first one move down to the last one hold shift on the keyboard and while holding that click that will highlight all the files i need or if i wanted to highlight say one up here and one down there i can highlight the first one by clicking on it and then the next file i could hold down the control key on the keyboard and click to highlight just say that one or that one etc etc or I can click and drag, which is what I'm going to do now. So I want to convert these four files. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to say batch convert. This will then launch the batch conversion options. And first it's taken us to the output tab. So where are we going to save our converted images? The default is the source folder. So the folder where your images are. Or if you want, you could change that by clicking folder. Click these little dots here and pick in a different location. But source folder is fine for me. And when they're converted, it's going to include the original file name and add underscore result. So you know that's the, the result, basically the output from the program. And you can change that however you want. And there are a lot more options there, but I'm just going to leave things as they are for now. So I've clicked on the input tab at the top here. We can see these are the images we want. You can also remove them from here or you can re-add them. You can do all sorts of uh, things from this point, but I'm quite happy with these four images. So then we want to set some actions. As you can see, I already have an action here. You can add more actions if you want. So I'll just remove that one. I'm going to click add action. And then from here, you can see there are a whole load of options, really great options, especially if you have like a whole folder of images, you might want to sharpen them. You might want to add a frame. Excellent program, really good uh, options. Anyway, I'm looking for transform here. And I'm going to resize these images. So I'm going to click the resize option there. I'm going to set the longer side or the width of this image to be 1280. And actually, longer side doesn't mean the width. It just means the longer side. So it could mean, if it's a portrait image, the, the height. But in this case, they're all landscape images. So I know that the longer side will be the width. Anyway, so I've set that to 1280, which is the resolution of this pretty low uh, resolution computer. I've got some options here for how I want to resample it. Lanxos is very good. It's quite good at smoothing the changes when your images are scaled. There are loads more options there. Uh, nearest neighbor would be a, an absolute rough conversion, but you might want that if you're pixel doubling or something like that or working with pixel art. And obviously there are a whole load more options there. You can Google those if you want to work out what sort of maths they're doing. And I could add other actions in here. So I could add another one here to say, um, let me see, reduce the noise of all the images, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to remove that. 
So all I'm going to do is these four images are going to be uh, scaled down to 1280. And we've already done output. And don't need to worry about the settings. So let's click convert. Shouldn't take too long. It would be quicker on a faster computer. This is a, a slow computer for the purposes of this. And now these images have reappeared here. And as you can see, they have, where are we? This one. It has underscore result on there. Now I know where that folder is. That's the downloads folder. So I'm just going to jump out of this. I'm just going to uh, change the view here to uh, date modified. And I can see these are all my new images. So uh, Andrew, no, Andreev there. Where is he? This file here. So it was 2.6 meg. And now we are at 319K, which is much better for this very low resolution computer. And I can view that image there. Uh, I'm just using an image view here, but I can see what's happening. Quite happy with that. I can see it's 1280 by 853. So if I were to use that as a, a wallpaper, it's going to crop the top and bottom off. But I'm quite happy with that. And that's it, really. Pretty simple tool. Has a lot of options. Very powerful. Uh, hopefully this video was useful to you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you'd like to subscribe, Please do that. Thanks for watching.